two, one. Hey, everybody! Yeah, I didn't do the finger thing because I'm driving. And I have to keep my eyes on the road and you're going, you're insane. Not really. Uh, probably should get a dash cam or something to do stuff like this. Or mount a camera so that I can video vlog while I'm driving. But, uh... This is my continuing documentary series, 40 to Life, about living life in uh, the modern world. And uh, today's topic is the skill set. And you're going, why are you talking about skill sets? Well, first of all, Today's date is June 21st, the official first day of summer 2019, 2019. Back to the skill set. I'm going to quote somebody who uh, passed away last year by the name of Al Woody. He resided in Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, he had a saying that I don't think anyone else has said. If they have said it, then they got away with words just like he did. And that is, I need a Valium the size of a Susie's Biscuit. Quote Al Woody. He had a, like I just said, he had a way with words, and uh, those words resonate with me in the modern times that we live in. Seriously, we, and most of us just kind of uh, want to be numb anymore because of how much nonsense is happening around us. Uh, even if you're dealing with reality, whether it be not having enough money or uh, just aging, which we all do every day, uh, just dealing with keeping your family together or taking care of people or whatever the case may be. Stuff that just wears you out. And then the, the endless uh, laundry for clothes or whatever the case may be. Chores, keeping your house up, mowing the lawn. Stuff that just eats away at your free time and, and, and it's stuff that we have to we maintain when we get to a certain level in life where we either own a home or uh, uh, some place that uh, or some piece of land you have to keep it up and that's one of the hard things in life if, if you don't have much uh, you, it, sometimes that's all you have time to do you don't have time to travel or, or relax or go to places uh Fortunately for me, I get to go out to Denver, Colorado every summer, which I just got back from seeing my brother and his girlfriend. And you can check out his girlfriend on twitch.tv slash snowlit. She is a streaming gamer. I do IRL, in real life stuff. I do uh, things that pertain to what's going on, current events, talk about that, do digital media, whether it's creating video like this, talking about video, uh, talking about people. I, I, try to, I try to steer away from uh, drama, drama and or uh, sensationalizing stuff, uh, like overreactions to stuff. I try to react to you know, tragedies in the world and everything uh, that's going on in a, on a basic level, nothing too overly dramatic. Anyways, back to the Susie's Biscuit line as I rambled about. the. Uh, that's one of the things that I can say. You can, you can compare, contrast, and even sometimes uh, find similarities. We, in relating to... We're not... We're all the same, but we're all not the same. Uh, we, it's like a lot of people could never get up on a stage because they would be overwhelmed by fear. I 
am not the most fearless person, but I'm learning that as I've gotten older, uh, that I think I can really do anything I wanted to. And I actually read a big quote the other day that said, uh, from, uh, I believe, a book or, or a writer or author. And basically, he said, it's one of those quotes that says, do everything, challenge everything. Well, just just live for what you want. And if anyone gets you in your way or says, oh, you can't do that, uh, as long as you're in your own personal space, personal home, I believe you're allowed to do anything you want. Uh, uh, if you are, and this is something my brother also believes, uh, if you bring it out from that personal space and say it's something that uh, may be more, more morally questionable, that's when it causes issues. And everyone has a line that, that people, a boundary that people kind of set uh, on what, what tolerance they have for that kind of stuff and what needs to be dealt with. So, uh, I believe that, uh, I believe that, well, none of us walk on water. <laughs> I've tried. Uh, yeah, I tend, to, I tend to sink. Anyways, uh, I'm not saying we're, we're all, uh, I'm not saying anyone's perfect, but we all make those, those life mistakes and it doesn't it's not supposed to define us a lot of people nowadays are just instantly judgmental so remind yourself when you find that kind of thinking that maybe they just didn't learn to be a little bit more open and accepting that's what I'm aiming at I'm aiming to be able to love more to live more to be the better self that I don't think I'm at yet I mean it's one of those day, one of those everyday progress things. You progress a little every day when you look for information and reading and and, and self help and, and spirituality. And spirit, spirituality. Uh, even though I just said that totally wrong. But go enjoy your day. You watched about eight minutes of me, and that's enough of me. Uh, I talk a little bit about everything and nothing all at the same time. So go, live your life, have a great day. If the weather is good where you are, go enjoy it, exercise, see, go visit people, tell people you love them because you never know when they're going to disappear from the face of the earth. Because I learned that at a very young age. Uh, and I... I have some family that are experiencing that this week. So, please send prayers their way. Thoughts, positive thoughts. And I will catch up with you all later. Peace, people. Out.